Here's Brody Brazil. Well, as I record this, it's been about a week since the Giants fired their manager, Gabe Kapler. And since then, everybody's been talking about who the next person is for that highly coveted job. We recently learned down in San Diego, it seems like the Padres are going to keep Bob Melvin. That was a name I threw out first because of personal connections, but also his resume, his background, his experience, his track record at taking a team, you know, just like the Giants, middle of the road, kind of mediocre, and bringing them to the next level. You can forget what happened these last two years in San Diego. It's a totally different situation. I do not feel like that reflects Bob Melvin. So with that crossed off the list, it's not to say that Ron Wotus was ever my second choice, so to speak. He's definitely in that very short list of names that I'd like to mention next. And so that brings me now to saying I think the Giants should hire Ron Wotus as their next manager. They kind of had the opportunity to do this after Bruce Bochy's days were done in San Francisco. Obviously, Bruce isn't done from a managerial perspective. But Ron Wotus has since then left the game, come back to the game. He's also a co-worker of mine at NBC Sports. I should probably state that from the beginning. Get to see him while he's covering Giants games. I'm in the studio hosting A's games. We cross paths a little bit. And I've got to know him a little bit more and understand him a little bit more from people I know directly that know him on a very personal basis. So let me just get into a couple things here. The basics of what you may or may not know about Ron Wotus. Resides in the Bay Area, met his wife here, has been around these parts for a very long time. And because of that, I should say the reason why he's been here is because he's been part of the Giants organization at this point almost longer than anybody during their time in San Francisco. Not everybody, like not Murph, but almost longer than everybody. He was the second coach in Giants history to reach the 2,000-win plateau that happened for him in August of the 2021 season. Been a team employee since 1991. And so, again, nobody has been around San Francisco Giants baseball, like in the dugout, in the clubhouse, on the field, as much as Ron Wotus. From the minor leagues to the major league level, inside and out, he totally understands that franchise, its fan base, and this area. Was a bench coach under Dusty Baker, Felipe Alou, and Bruce Bochy. My goodness, what a trifecta. Three World Series titles in 10, 12, and 14 that he was a part of. Um, You have to understand what being around that does for you for the rest of your days. Once you've seen it, you've tasted it a couple times over and over. It's not that you always know how to instantly get back to that, right? It takes the right ingredients to make the perfect meal, but at least you've seen it and you've hands-on been a part of it like he was. And he says he's always wanted to manage. Hasn't had the chance to do that that at the big league level, but there have been opportunities – which I'll just get here right now. He interviewed with the Pirates in 2000 for the manager job. The Dodgers in 05, the Mariners in 13, the Rays in 14, and the Nats in 15. 13, 14, 15, he was knocking on the door, and for whatever reason, things didn't happen. Other people got hired. He retired from coaching after 2021. And by early 2022, was hired back by the team as a special assistant. They can't quit him, and they shouldn't have quit him. Quite honestly, like I said before, a lot of people thought maybe he was the next manager after Bruce Bochy, an internal promotion instead of going the outside route. But Ron Wotus has not only been a part of this team, he's also been around this team, and he gave them a very... Motivated pep talk. This past season in September, they started to struggle after doing quite well, building themselves a little bit of comfort, comfortability and buffer in the standings. And then September hit. But this was early September, just as things were starting to turn south. Logan Webb recounted what Wotus said. He paraphrased it. The sentiments is going something like this. Quote, this is what Ron told the group. You show up every spring training to get to this position, like be in contention. So why fold now? It's a great way of putting it. There's a lot of experience and thoughtfulness to say it like that to a group when they're struggling. So we understand a little bit more of 
who Ron Wotus is. But how about the Giants, who they are right now, where they're at right now? In my opinion, in need of stability and direction, and obviously, would a superstar big name be nice, kind of like the anchor piece of the next era? Yeah, Shohei Otani would be perfect. Just like Correa, if healthy and if that all worked out to plan, that would have been a good opportunity. Just like Aaron Judge would have been perfect, but that may never have even been a chance. And I'm not going to harp or, harp or dwell on those things. They weren't meant to be. But the next big player, the headliner, might be meant to be. But even beyond that, they just need overall stability and direction as a group. And there does need to be a little bit more balance between all the research, all the analytics, all the front office stuff, but also trusting your instincts on the baseball field, trusting your instincts from the scouting perspective, which players to bring up, to draft, to call up, to give opportunities, to send back down. It's more than just it's more than just the numbers. But I don't also want to discount the numbers. Why would you not use that to your advantage? But maybe this is kind of like the perfect balance. You get a front office that loves to analyze, loves to bring the research, the information, the numbers, the knowledge. That's great. Pair that with a manager who's been there, done that via instinct and experience and opportunities. And maybe Ron Wotus and the staff that he could hire would be an intermediary between the front office who sees things one way and a coaching staff who... I don't want to say says it uh, sees it the entirely opposite way. Like you don't want to have that that head to head conflict. But why not have the best of both worlds? But maybe something like this is what would deter Ron Wotus from taking this job. If it has to be all about openers and pinch hitters in certain situations and taking starters out after certain pitch counts, maybe that's something a manager wouldn't want as their entry to this job, that they have to follow certain rules or way of doing things that, that just aren't them. If you can't do it your way, it's difficult to put your name to it. But maybe that could be an optimal scenario. Again, analytics of the front office, execution of those in the clubhouse and in the dugout. You also can't recreate what was happening at Pac Bell slash SBC slash AT&T Park slash Oracle Park. You can't recreate what was happening 14 years ago in a 10, 12, 14 trifecta across five years. Winning three World Series like that in, in five years, it, it doesn't happen often. It, titles in any sport don't happen like that, and I guess unless you're the Warriors. But you, you want to replicate the ways what did it take? What was that group about? What was the chemistry like? What were the leaders like? And it's not to say that you can redraft all those types of players again, but if you can bring in a Ron Wotus who was part of that, who's still plenty young enough to come in and be your manager for a lot more years, like there's no there's no clock ticking on, on his time in baseball. It just seems like a smart thing to do. And last but not least, if you're the Giants... And you've got all of these legacy players in the Bay Area. Buster Posey just moved back. Brandon Crawford, if he does retire, do you think he's going anywhere? I think he's going to settle in the Bay Area. Or at least maintain a spot here in the Bay Area. Barry Bonds is around. Rich Arilli is around. I don't have room for everybody, but Randy Wynn is around. There's a lot of former Giants that, that could help recreate a culture that might have existed 10, 12, 14 years ago that maybe this franchise has got away from. And Ron Wotus is kind of like the, the perfect facilitator of all of that. If you bring in somebody new, they don't have these relationships with these guys to help your team. They don't have the experience of what this franchise was like when they were doing as well as ever in San Francisco. This is almost like something that's sitting on the table that is too perfect. How could, how could you look at this and, and uh, doubt it or not put it on your very, very short list? So again, 
There might be other choices out there. I should say this at the end of the video because I, I also think this is important. If this isn't the direction they go and they bring in somebody else who is extremely successful and things work out, I, that's great too. None of us know here and now for sure 100% what's going to work and what's not. So if I'm wrong, I'm wrong in five years if you're watching this, and that's fine. I'm just saying here and now, this to me makes a lot of sense. And if there's something else that makes sense and is proven in the next three, five years, that's also great too. Hey, you made it here at the end of the video. You know I appreciate that. Thumbs up down below. And also, don't forget, subscribe to this channel so I can definitely see you back here next time.